Well, hello there. How's everyone doing today? Here we are in the middle of August, and I've been putting this off because I've been very, very busy this summer with the farm and my regular full-time job, which is actually a retirement job from my first job. So, as you can see, I've been pretty busy. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still, I'm still going to be starting to do stuff. So. Just hang tight, I'll have some stuff. But for tonight, I just wanted to uh, say some thanks to all my viewers. And I have three viewers here. Two of them are regular viewers of mine since the day one. And I have a newer one, a new one here that that came that sent me some stuff. And I'd like to give him a shout out. It's Shorters, S H O R T E R S, Diecast Projects. And he has his own YouTube channel, and so he sent me this back. Most of this stuff came back in the spring, so I'm, I've been slacking on my thing on my reveal tapes. I apologize for that. He says hello, George. Gary here from Shorter's Diecast Projects. I seen the I seen these couple cars at Walmart and immediately thought of you. I hope you like them. So. Thank you very much, Gary, for this kind kind um, package that you sent me. And we'll start off with this right here. We got he sent he he knows I like ATVs, so he sent me two of these mainline quad rods, which I can probably figure out something to do with to make them put some fenders on them and stuff. Definitely, I guess it's more like a drag bike, but they're very cool. Thank you so much for those and sent me i can never have enough of these i have another project coming up with this with these actually hold on there we go with these ford falcon xb 73 ford falcon xbs it's my favorite car in the whole wide world unfortunately at 80 to a hundred thousand dollars actually probably clip in american money that i can't afford one anymore so but anyways We'll be making a lot of them in die cast and i have another project coming up with these so thank you very much and we also have matchbox super fast 1963 c10 one of my favorite your one of my favorite body style trucks which would be a very good project for another for the any which way you can truck but i actually like the way this one looks other than we need to chrome that grill out and but the rest and put some maybe some white letters on that tailgate maybe we'll do a do one of it do this one up just a, enough to give it some detailing to take it to the next level because it actually looks really good in in the in the uh looks really good if like i say if they would have did that grill in a little bit more detail it would have been absolutely perfect for matchbox so and last but not least we have the auto world which i love this stuff it's the what you say this one is the see this is a 79 c10 with really cool set of uh, dog dish hubcaps and just a nice bone stock one. I guess it was on the cover of Hemmings Motor News. There we go. So these are these are really nice models. I have a couple of four by fours, and like I say, this one they have the uh, the tailgates that actually come down. The hoods open up. They're very detailed. I'm a huge, huge square body Chevy fan. I had one, we, we touched on that earlier in the year when I built a, a die cast replica of it, but I love these trucks. So, can never have enough. Thank you very much. Get to Gary Shorter, who sent those wonderful gifts, who thought of me way back five months ago. And I apologize <laughs> for waiting so long to get this stuff out. And next, we have something from our good friend Johnny V all the way in Australia and Tasmania. He's been a been a viewer of mine since day one and he always he's become a close friend 
via, um, I guess, what is that called? We got this app where we can actually talk face to face on the, on our Skyping or something. So, but anyways, he has sent me some wonderful things here, and we this is. Hey, Brother George, felt it was time to send you another Tassie pack. I remember you saying in the last package that you didn't have or couldn't find many of the older 75 series Lesneys. So I've gone through my stash and found a few I no longer need in my collection. And you can add them to yours once restored. Wow. Thank you so much for that. I very, very, there are a few rare hard to finds in that lot. So enjoy. Johnny, I will enjoy it, and I really, really appreciate that. And there's an envelope here that contains a special gift for me. Seems you <coughs> have found a fondness for the pale blue and orange, which is the golf liveries. Yes, I have. So, and there's another big special one in here that we'll show you too. So, and like I say, this was a little bit late on the late on the delivery here today, but I've been wanting to make sure it was something special today so let's start off here with this envelope here all the way from Australia it is wow that is awesome that is a golf a golf livery paper diorama you know how much I like my paper dioramas that whole that whole town that I use for my for my um my my still shots at the end golf canopy v1 right there look at that that's going to go right in the town right at the end so that's really awesome but like i say you know i made that whole town out of my myself with cardboard lots of glue super glue and and uh a xerox copy machine so johnny thank you so much for that you will see it here probably most likely this fall when I really get things going with my diecast stuff. I plan on doing the, the 4x4 conversion. I got a whole bunch of ideas. I might do more than one. So, but we'll save that big one here for last. So, wow. We got this bag. We'll just start with these bags. He sent me some wonderful Lesneys. So, let's see here. Holy mackerel. Look how tiny that thing is. I need my glasses. Where's my glasses? There we are. Yeah. I just wear readers. So, here we go. Use that. Can't, still can't read. Hold on. That's so tiny. That's a Lesney England. This one doesn't even. That's so small. That is awesome. I can't tell what number it is. But that's an early, early, early one. I'm going to have to research this one. That's an ERF truck. I know that just like my, uh, my cement mixer. Yes, that is cool. It's got metal wheels. So let's set that one there. Let's see. I'll adjust that down there like that. We have. Oh, this is awesome. This is the Cadillac 60, spe 60 Special number 27. And it's missing the wheels, but I have a, I'm sure I have a, wheel, a set of wheels I can source around here. That will be a beautiful restoration on that. I plan on doing, as I plan on doing more of these. Oh, a Morris J2 pickup with the gray wheels number 60 that is going to the all these are just this is all high-end stuff that i have not been able to get a hold of and it's very nice like this blue bird dolphin number 23 trailer looks like the little hitch is broken off but that's nothing i can't fix so that's it's missing a door i'll have to source those products probably the i guess the get them from overseas and we have the scammel tow plow truck 
no, scam of the plow truck. That's just one of my stupid jokes. But we're missing the plow. But that's a really cool dump truck. I think I, I think you can get the plow for these. So I'm gonna see if I can source a plow and make this one brand new again. I love these old Lesneys. They're my favorite matchboxes. And we got this one here. This one will be a fun one to paint because you know how much I love the do. That's a metallic over a candy, almost metallic red. I'll have to match that. That's the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow, which I do not have one of these. The glass looks like it's full. Everything's all here. And we will definitely be having some fun with that. So that's the first set. Wow. Thank you very much. That's very generous, Johnny. I mean, these are hard. I, I know how hard it is to come by some of this stuff. So, here's the next batch. This looks like it was a kid paint. And I don't know if it has interior. It's a Jaguar 3.4 liter number 65. And there's that. That is really cool. And it's, it's a Lesney too. But doesn't have any interior in it. I don't know if it came like that or not. I'll have to research that one when the time comes. Looks like somebody painted it. Didn't do a bad job. And we have our famous Matchbox number 66 Goodyear Greyhound bus. I have yet to do these yet. And I, have, I think I have one other one of these. We'll be touching base on that. And this is a Grey Wheel Merriweather Merryweather Series 3 fire engine number 9. Look at that. And I know you can source the ladder and the decals. This will make a, all these will make a great addition. I don't know whether it had windows or not. I'll have to look that up. Maybe, I think maybe it had a post right there. But that's nothing we can't fix. And this one here, I always thought was a good one. I did one a long time ago before I was on the channel, but I didn't match the color correctly. But we'll do this one perfectly. This is the Studebaker Lark Wagon Air. My dad was a Studebaker man. He had a Studebaker champion from the early 50s. Love that car. So, like I say, that would be a good good combination for that. Maybe we'll do that as a pair. Yeah, it's got the sliding top. And I think it came with a guy, a hunter, and some dogs, if I'm not mistaken. So, this is one here that I've been... This is... This is a rare one, but I don't remember what it is. I saw this is the one that Marty has on the beginning of his his uh, his opening credits, and it's a very rare one. But it doesn't even have a number on the bottom. I'm I I'm going to research this one. I know it's I know it's a special one, and it's a rare one. It's an old one. So we're going to do beautiful restorations on all these cars because I don't these go right into my collection. And they stay there. This is really cool. Wow, check that out. These are metal wheel jobs. This is the Dutes, I can't even pronounce that, Margrues Dutes crane truck. Number 30. Look at that. That is super cool. Just all the detail in these older ones like this is phenomenal. I've got the bogey wheels on the back, I guess. To keep, so when it goes uphill, it'll, you know, doesn't drag. So, but anyways, I'm really looking forward to these. This one here too is, I think somebody sandblasted this one. Maybe that, or media blasted it. It's the number 32 Jaguar XK140. I don't have any of these. You hit, you hit the gold mine here. You hit the nail on the head and this is a metal wheeled one. So I'm gonna have to figure out what color that one was. I have to look at my books and my, do my research. On each of these because each one of these is I do 100% original I do not like doing my 175th series matchbox in anything other than stock form unless it's an opal diplomat which makes great great street gods and they're plentiful so here we go with our next bag of and we have the ergomatic cab 
This is the pipe truck. And it made some little pipes for me to go on there out of styrene. Very cool. And we have the good old Massey Harris combine and it still has the wheels on it. Sweet. So I'm gonna do a farm series with these. I'm gonna I got a couple of the tractors and we're gonna just make a make a whole farm restoration deal with those. This is one I've been wanting to do and I I've been I been don't didn't have. This, oh, this is a re this is, I think it's, this is a replica of the, uh, this is one of the early 93 replicas of the Matchbox removals, but it's still just like the original. I remember when these came out and I don't remember what, but it's, it's a 93 re re um, anniversary replica. So we will have fun restoring that one. And we have... The girder truck, and we have this little. We have the. We have. I have a, a big. I think I have a big version of this. The folding concrete truck. So, wow, that's the Lesney mother load. I tell you, Johnny. Thank you so much for all this stuff. And you know, I'll eventually get to it, especially in the winter time. It, fall, winter, and spring is my time that I do a lot of this, and this time of year just been really really busy so he also sent me some other cars here this is a Hot Wheels Chevrolet lowrider he probably picked up somewhere this one, that's an awfully large scale I've never seen that scale before I wonder if that's uh, if anybody knows this is I mean that's a larger scale than I'm used to seeing that is silver, just a Chevrolet Silverado, but it's a hell of a nice casting. And we have the Fandango from Hot Wheels. For the life of me, I don't remember that one. That's a cool looking one. It's like a, I think it's a Durango. Yeah, it's a Dodge Durango. And of course we have the special, this is the Matchbox, very clean Viper RT10. And my buddy had one of these that passed away. He had a green one. And he customized the front end here with a telephone pole one night getting when it got away from him. And he took my friend for a ride. And he hit second gear. And then he hit third and it grabbed the hold and it shot it right into the pole right there. And they both had stitches in their foreheads from the sun visors, which are no more than three feet. Or no a couple inches from your head and yeah that was an interesting night but he got it fixed and he later on got a, a GTS and he had that when he passed away and my, my close friend has it now and that's where my GTO came from if anybody wants to wonder it was from his collection and we have oh boy we have the Corgi juniors original George Barris Batmobile. I haven't touched on those yet. We'll have to reach, we'll have to do one of those and we got to do something with those wheels. It's a great casting. We'll, we'll have to do something fun with that. And we have, I don't have one of these. This is, I can't remember the name of this, but it's a cool sea cab. I think it's had a, a dump bed on bucket tea or something. I can't remember. It's from 77. It's from my childhood and I don't remember it. I thought I, I never had one as a kid. But we will be restoring that one too. And last but not least, from this, we have a 55 Chevy Stepside. This is a Kinsmart. And I don't think they sell these in America. That's really cool. It's a pullback truck. Yeah. That'll go right in my collection. That's beautiful. Absolutely. So, Johnny V. And we've got one left, and this is the big one. And stay tuned, I'll get that out there real quick. Okay, here we are back. And this is the last one, and I he knows how much I love these things and cherish these things that he sends me, especially these, because he sent me a 143rd scale. This is a 2001 50th anniversary Holden Ute which I'm guessing 
like I say, yep, it had the five, had a generation three, five, seven, it had a generation three, 350. I'm guessing that was probably the first L, generation LS motor. And this, these are made by hmm, Classic Carlectables. Yes, I have a couple of these that he sent me. So let's take this baby out of here. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. We'll put it on the turntable. He knows how much I love Australian muscle cars and everything. I'm still working on getting my own 2005 or 6 GTO with the 6 liter and a stick. But look at that thing. That thing is gorgeous. You can tell that that there looks almost that you looks almost identical in the front to the utes or the gto which is of course that was a holden monaro and it's amazing how close that is look at that it's got a removable removable top a rotano cover that is gorgeous even got the uh defrosters in the back window and a rubber mat in there in the bed spectacular put that back in there very very detailed this will go right in my china showcase china cabinet whatever you want to call it what a gorgeous vehicle 50th anniversary holden vu ss ute love to get my hands on something like this might be easier than getting a Australian Falcon or a 70s H series Monaro. So, but anyways, this is about, I think this is running a pretty long time. I just wanted to give a thanks, a special thanks to Gary Shorter and to my brother from another mother, Johnny V. And I apologize for taking so long for me to get this out to you to you on my channel and I promise you that I will have more builds coming up very soon. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great week.